and like outdoors is brought to you by gator taxidermy calgen egg services in this episode we follow dusty in the 2013 spring bear season as he's on his hunt for a monster black bear the season had its ups and downs with reed shooting his bear and dusty missing his bear and there's only about three days left to hunt June 8th, uh, I was in here last night, bumped the sound cubs off the bait, they didn't come back in and nothing else showed for the night. Uh, we're in here again, it'll be about a three hour sit. Uh, I got my cousin uh, Wes running camera tonight, everybody else is busy, and hopefully uh, one of the boars shows up tonight. Stay tuned. With the sow and cubs basically living at the bait, I got to have a lot of interesting encounters with them. But I still wasn't having any encounters with a big boar that I was looking for. Seeing those cubs come into the bait and start wrestling and playing around the bait, that was pretty cool. I don't see that too often. Then having that sow come to the bottom of the stand and pop her jaw like that, that was something else.
Well, it's June 9th. It's uh, last day bear season in the interlake here. Uh, I was in here last night with Wes running the camera. I'm in here tonight by myself, just self-filming. And uh, Sal and Cubs came in, gave us a pretty good show. She snapped and popped around us for a while, came right to the foot of the stand, checked us out for a while. And uh, it took about 45 minutes for her to calm down before she st finally started eating. And then uh, we got out of there last night with no sign of the big boars showing up yet. So I got one more crack at it tonight and hoping for the best. Stay tuned. something really cool to see those cubs you know they come in get a lot of food it's one of the benefits of baiting in the springtime we take maybe one two bears from this bait and you feed a lot with less than an hour of legal hunting time my hopes and dreams of harvesting a great black bear were starting to dissipate I just heard him, he's just doing death mode right now. That is the last hour, there's half an hour of light left right now. And I just smoked him, smoked him, he's done. That finishes the season this year. I'm glad you got to enjoy this guys, that was awesome. I am I am so pumped right now, this is, oh. I can't even, Thanks for watching guys. Well, I've given this guy a few minutes. Uh, let's go take a look and see what I got. Oh, I think I see him over there. Yep, he's laying over there.
use out like a light. Good bear. Couldn't be more pleased right now. Well, what can I say? It's June 9th. As you can tell, it's just getting dark out. I hope there's enough light to, for you to see this. Uh, nine quarter after nine, this big boy walked in, checked out where the sow and the cubs had played around, stood up and uh, scratched his back on the trees and then held up for a little while. I didn't think he was gonna come in, but uh, he decided that he was gonna come into the stand and uh, you know, I was, I'd rather shoot him with a bow. I love archery, but it being the last night, I figured the best bet was to bring in the 30 odd six just like a guarantee uh, crack at him if he showed up. And, uh, well look at him. Look at the noggin on this guy. It's a beautiful bear. I couldn't be more happier. And uh, this wraps up our uh, spring bear season. I hope you guys uh, follow us through the summer and keep on following us for uh, a few years to come. From the tree to your TV, this is Inner Lake Outdoors. Thanks for watching. All in all, it was a great spring bear season. We got lots of potential hanging around the bait for next year. It looks really promising. I'd like to congratulate Dustin Dola and Reed Campbell on their monster black bears. I'd like to thank all of our supporters and everyone for viewing our videos. Check us out on Facebook at Interlake Outdoors. And we can't wait to bring you all of our fall hunts. Stay tuned. <laughs>